that. And I have my new little bundle of joy here. And right now she's a little bit fussy. She was just born fresh and new. My newest little baby girl. So I wanted to come on and share her as soon as she was born. It is now like 12 midnight and she's like just a few minutes old and I couldn't wait till tomorrow. Well, it's already tomorrow. It's Sunday morning at this point. But I wanted to make sure I came on and recorded this video right after she was born so I could share her with you guys. I know I had been saying for a while now, a new baby was on the way. So finally here we are. And I just couldn't wait until daylight. I figured, okay, I'm going to share her right now, right as she is fresh and new. So for those of you who are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Welcome to my channel. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I do a new video. Um, also, I was gone for a while. So finally, I'm back. And right as I'm back, the baby is born. Like she was waiting until I had my little vacation break. And here she is. Like I've been back home a few days. And right as I'm back home, wouldn't you know, here comes the baby. So I'm happy she waited until I had my little vacation break. And now I have a new little one to share with you guys and do videos with. And here she is with her little self. If you guys can see her. I will turn her over in a moment. So welcome back to those of you who are already subscribed. And please, everyone, give the video a like. Hit that thumbs up button for me. So I am going to turn her over. She is just kind of acting very fussy at the moment. Like she just wants to act up. I guess she wants to eat again or something. She's only eating a little bit at a time. So that makes her get hungry faster. So here she is, you guys. Woo, look at that head flop. Did y'all catch that? Mommy is a bad mommy. The newborn baby head, you have to really, really, really support the little head. So I am just absolutely in love with her as I kind of knew I would be. So it is right now, what's today's date? She was born just a little before midnight. So her birthday is May 4th. It is right now, like I said, a little after midnight. So technically it's May 5th, but she was born on May 4th. And there is her little face, you guys. I think I have her name. I'm usually so like just torn when it comes to naming my babies lately but i think i do have her name and i just thought of it today as she was born and i looked at her and her name just kind of came to me all of the other names i was thinking i wanted for her i didn't want want those names like once i actually seen her face like the name for her 
just kind of popped into my mind. I don't have a middle name, but I do have her first name, which I will share with you in a moment. So this baby, again, is in a skin tone. I wasn't quite going for exactly, <laughs> but she is close to what I wanted. I will say she is very close to what I wanted. I'm very happy with the outcome. These are her little feet. She has the sweetest, cutest little feet. Like, I love her feet. And she is um, seven pounds, four ounces, and 17 and a half inches long. Um, with her slightly bent legs. If her legs are straight out all the way to her toe, then she's nine, 19 inches long. So she is a nice little newborn size baby, which is what I definitely wanted in my collection. Um, she's a full body silicone, as you can see, anatomically correct, a little girl. Um, she has a nice open mouth so she can take passies and bottles, which she probably wants her passy right now because she is just fussy, fussy. So she can fit a full Subi in there, which I love, love, love when the babies have a nice open mouth where you don't have to worry about you know what kind of pacifier or what size they can take and all of that so yes you guys i have a new little one i'm so excited to finally have her all done and everything um well her hair isn't all done she has to grow some hair but she has a little bit of hair up there if you can see, I have started. Um, she has rooted eyebrows, rooted lashes. So we will be working on her finishing, growing in her hair. It is black, like a soft black, not jet black, but soft black. But I wanted her to have dark hair. So that is her. She's just so sweet with her little bobbly head. You definitely have to hold on to her head, um, which I do love when the baby's heads are very like floppy and flexible and everything. She has a cute little belly button. She's wearing a newborn size pamper and it fits her really well. Um, I was when I was looking at the pampers when I took it out the bag, the pack, um, it looked so little. I was like, can she fit newborn pampers? Because I was buying stuff for her for the past couple of weeks, like nesting for her, but she fits a newborn pamper. So she is definitely truly a newborn size baby. So if you aren't familiar with this baby this sculpt i will show her coa in a moment i'm going to try and lay her down on the boppy and see can i pull you guys in closer to see her i'm just putting a blanket over here on this boppy and it's like i just finished her like i said she was just born tonight <laughs> a few minutes ago like, I was determined she would be born today. I was determined. So, certain stuff, like, I'm just finishing, and I'm exhausted at this point. But I wanted to, you know, to share her tonight. And it's like a baby was born in the house tonight. Like, I, that's how I feel. I'm kind of tired, but yet excited to share her. Excited to finally have her done and everything. And so there she is.
sometimes you can see them better when you actually put them down and they're like right in the camera. Let me see, can I get it any closer? Cause it has to like go under my bed, which is kind of giving me an issue to get it close up to the bed. But I think you guys can see her pretty well. And eventually I will take her in the nursery and do a video in there where I could put her on the changing table and get closer to her. Um, that'll probably be once she finishes growing in all of her hair. But that is my little girl, my newest baby girl. I have been wanting a new baby girl newborn size full body silicone in my collection now for like i want to say at least over six months ago i was wanting a new full body silicone newborn size girl because i also wanted a preemie size girl which i have um by kimberly dolls i showed her a couple weeks ago my ebony and but that wasn't all I wanted. I really, really wanted a newborn size girl. And so finally, here she is. I can't believe she's finally here. Um, so if you're not familiar with the sculpt, she is made by Silicone Studio, and she is Billy. Most of you probably know that, but some people may not. She is Billy by Kathy Biscitti of Silicone Studio. I believe I ordered her from Silicone Studio too. And her COA is actually like almost like metal or something. That's how it looks and feels. So I really like her COA. And she was all done by me from start to finish as far as painting and rooting and still working on the rooting, like I said. But that is her sculptor, Kathy Biscitti. And this is her little lovey, something else I bought for her in the past week. It just came like two days ago, this cute little duck. I love this duck. I had wanted it for the longest. It actually has waiting in there, like a beanie baby almost. And it's so soft, the, the material that it's in. So I got that for her. And then I had did a couple of hauls for her. I did show some of the rompers I got, but I got more stuff for her in the past couple of days. And so I will slowly share what she has or as I change her. I will show her stuff. She has hair on her from her lashes. Um, I did buy her as if I needed any more Pampers. But I love Pampers brand newborn for my newborn babies. Especially when you get a new baby. Like I love me some Pampers brand diapers. And these are the ones I didn't have which she's wearing. And I didn't look at all of them. Yeah, they all have the elephant on the back of them. And I think that elephant, like, it's so cute. It has rainbows on there and clouds and all of that. That's the back and this is the front of it. So I had wanted a pack of this newborn Pampers with the little elephants on it. So she had to have those. Um, So I am going to put her on a shirt because I didn't want to put her on anything. You know how when we finally get that new baby, that silicone, you just don't, you don't even want to put any clothes on them because you just want to see that skin, their silicone. She does have a nice little vein if you guys can see on her chest. Then she has another smaller one on her belly. And normally when I paint silicone, 
really any of my dolls, Rhino as well. I don't like a lot of veins. I'm not like a collector or painter where the baby has to have all of these veins everywhere. So with her, I was like, okay, I'm going to attempt some veins on her. So she don't have a lot either, but I do like the ones that I did put on her. I actually like it. So maybe I'll start doing that a little more. So I'm not sure. I have out this plain t-shirt, the snap side, and then I had the pink socks out. I could just put this on her for now because then also I had took out um, booties instead of the socks. I have these little pom-pom pink pastel booties. Then I had out the little unicorn booties like i took out so much different stuff hand mitts you know when you have a new baby like all of a sudden you don't know what you want to put on them and you've been you like like i'd be picturing oh i'm gonna put this on them i'm gonna put that you buy all these different clothes you're nesting buying all of this stuff and then when the baby actually when you have the baby all done ready you don't want to put any of that stuff on the baby does that happen to you guys or you just don't know what to put on the baby so that's me so then i also took out this bow being that she don't have all her hair yet i like these big bows the wide ones when the baby doesn't have all of their hair that's when i feel like those big bows are really really nice and then i took out this modern moments little onesie with the roses on it this is one of my favorite prints and they don't have this one anymore um, but this one is brand new and I've had a lot of these, a lot of the sets like this, the onesies, and then they had like the long rompers. I sold all of them, but somehow I must have really liked it, which I do. I kept this one. So nobody has worn this one and I must have saved this particular one. It is a newborn. So I was thinking about putting that on her because it looks just so girly with those roses on there. So I don't know. I feel like maybe because it's her first night, she should just get a t-shirt. I wish I could ask you guys, what do you think? <laughs> but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll save this for another time. We will put this back on, like when we come back on or something. And I'll just put her little socks on her little feet. I made her a hospital bracelet, but I didn't put her actual name on it. Because when I made the hospital bracelet, I didn't finish her yet. So I had to wait until I finished her to um, think of her name. It like came to me. So that was my son interrupting my video. At this time of the night, you would think everybody's sleeping nobody's going to bother you but no not in my house there's always somebody at my door i don't care what time of the night it is but anyway he can wait i guess it's not an emergency but yeah so i didn't have her name completely in my head yet until after i completely like finished her so i didn't put her name on her hospital bracelet it just has her date of birth which is May 4th, like I said, 2024, and it just says Billy by Silicone Studio 2. That's all it says, but I'm going to take it off so I could put her little socks on her feet. And I usually try to make the hospital bracelets where they could just slide off of their feet. And then I could put it back on if I want to take pictures of her with it on. I could kind of slide it back on her feet. And these socks fit her so good. These are the little Carter zero to three months, the little Terry Cloth ones. And these are pale, pale pink. They are so nice and soft. So I'm going to put these on her instead of the booties. I think it looks good for a newborn to have on the little Terry Cloth little socks. And so, how is everyone doing? I haven't talked to you guys in so long, it feels like. It's like almost two weeks, I think, since I did a video where I'm actually in the video. 
Um, the past couple of videos I did were shorts and I wasn't really in the video. There was no talking or anything. It was music playing. And I did get a lot of views on my shorts. Thank you to everyone who watched them. And they were with Little Miss Layla. And I was trying to spend time with Layla before this little girl came. <laughs> so that is why the past couple of videos was with Layla. And also like pictures I posted were Layla. So I was kind of spending time with my Layla before her sister came. Because <laughs> I know now that this little girl is born and she's in my nursery, I'm thinking she's going to get a lot of attention. We'll see how that goes. But that's what I'm thinking. This little girl is going to get a lot of my attention because like I said, I have been wanting this size baby for quite some time. Um, she just looks like what I was picturing in my head for her to look like. She definitely looks like what I was dreaming of. Um, I can't, I'm like when I finished her and she looked like what I was picturing all these months, I couldn't believe like she looks like what I wanted. Because sometimes you could be picturing a baby in your head um, and you can't find it. Like if somebody you're buying a doll that somebody else painted, you have this vision in your head and you looking for that baby. And sometimes you can't quite find what it is that you're looking for. Even if someone else paints it, you're just looking and looking. You can't quite find it. Or if you're painting it yourself, you have this vision in your head of what you want. You finish the baby, but sometimes it's not what you actually were picturing. But lo and behold, when I finished her, I couldn't believe she was actually, she looks like what I was picturing. Um, the skin tone is a little bit deeper than what I was going for, but... She looks like what I was picturing. I guess this is the skin tone I wanted because when I got to it, I knew it was it. Um, I stopped because it was it. I was thinking I wanted something else, but when I got here, I knew, okay, this, this is her skin tone. Um, as I rooted her eyelashes and her eyebrows, it gave her a whole different look. And she's, she looks like what I wanted all these months, like to actually see her now. She looks like what I was dreaming of, what I was picturing, what I wanted. Um, a couple of billies that I was looking at that were up for sale before I actually got the blank scope. They were kind of what I was looking for, but then they weren't. And then I kind of wanted to paint my own to try to achieve what I was dreaming of, you know, and picturing. And I can't believe I actually got what I was dreaming of. And by no means is she perfect, but she's what, just what I was picturing, my little girl. This is what I had in my mind all these months. I can't believe I actually achieved it. I can't believe it. So, anywho, I'm not going to keep rambling. I'm not going to make the video super long. But I did want to at least come and share her tonight so you guys could finally see her. Um, like I said, I do have to finish rooting her. This is the little bit of hair she has in the front. Um, I definitely wanted her to have dark, wavy, curly hair. So that is what she's getting at the moment. I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish rooting her. Rooting is definitely a tedious thing for me. It's not my strong suit, that's for sure. Um, but I would try because I want to do videos with her and stuff and change her and all of that. I'm going to try not to take forever with the rooting. 
I'm going to try my best to finish her before this week is out. I do have a few other things I'm doing this week, but I'm going to try my best whenever I'm free where I could root her so I can at least finish her before this week is out. That's my goal. Um, I used to, when I first started rooting, I used to try to finish like within the same day. I've done that once or twice where I finish in the same day, but I have not done that in a long time. So now I just, when I'm rooting a baby, I just root whenever I can a little bit at a time until I'm done. Um, I try not to take longer than a week to root a baby. I try not to, but it all depends on how my schedule is. If I can just stay on it for a few days and like hopefully finish within three to four days, if I could just stay on it. So that's going to be my goal this week. So anyway, guys, okay, so for her name, before I end the video, welcome Kenya. She is baby Kenya. So that is the name when I looked at her, when I was finished with her, she looks like a Kenya to me. And I actually have a cousin named Kenya. And this baby kind of reminds me of my cousin Kenya. And I think that's why the name just popped into my head when I finished rooting her eyebrows and the little bit of hair. She took on this whole different look. And then I had put her earrings in and I was like, Kenya, that's her name. <laughs> it just like once I looked at her, it just the name popped in my head because she does look like my cousin. My cousin's skin tone is like this and everything. And her name is Kenya. So anyway, guys, welcome baby Kenya. My newest sweet little girl. I love her size so much. And there she is. So that is my video for this. What is it? Sunday now. <laughs> Sunday. And I will be back soon with another video. And you guys will see little Kenya once her little hair is all completed. So thanks for watching and please share my videos if you stay to the end because I forgot to say that at the beginning. Please share my videos. I do have an upcoming giveaway when I hit 5,000 subscribers. So the quicker we get to that 5,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway of a vinyl reborn that I will be painting. I don't know if I'm going to root it, but I will be painting and giving a full box opening of gifts with that baby. So once we hit that 5,000, that is the plan to do a reborn giveaway or painted by me. So please, please continue to share my videos. And thank you to those of you who do share my videos. And we'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.